All right, well, it was, uh, it was good getting on the field with the guys. And um, obviously day one of 29 before we play, so uh, just getting started. But it was certainly good to be on the field with them and uh, kind of get camp going. Coach, obviously uh, lots of versatility on the offensive line, but Michael Dieter specifically left tackle reps today. Is that kind of a, a permanent move for Dieter? Well, you know, I mean, we started him there, and uh, we'll always make sure we practice ways to get the best five on the field. So it was permanent today. You know, that's all he took. Um, but he's still going to have to do some center stuff and guard. And, and you, know, you know, as we go through camp, you'll see there'll be a lot of guys moving. So I wouldn't try to make that any lead story for anybody. With, uh, with Chris James's kind of receiving ability, Maybe moving him around the formation some, playing some in the slot. Do you think he's able, you know, capable of doing that? I think he's capable of it. I think we got a lot, you know a few backs that are capable, but you know you, you got to make sure that they they'll kind of grow into those roles. And so how that transforms, I think that's part of what camp's for. You know whether it be Chris or really any guy, um, you know camp is the time to. Kind of establish. You got to have one role and, and establish it and be good, be consistent at it, and then can you add more to their plate? And as you can uh, add more to their plate, then it's it's good. But uh, not don't want to push them there too soon either. Well, not just based on today, but what is Jack Coley's comfort level given that he had the whole spring and summer before camp to, to kind of get comfortable with things? Here? You know, I think it's it's been helpful for him certainly, and. Uh, I think that kind of stood out a little bit today when you're going over meetings and the, you almost feel bad for the freshmen that, you know, it's the start of camp, but it's midway through the year as far as, you know, Jack had the, the ability to be in winter kind of meetings and then spring ball meetings. And, and I think he's done a good job of, of learning and he's got a lot more to learn. But I think he's given himself a chance to get value out of the reps, which is huge. Taiwan help the, the running back group now that he's, he's healthy again? I think we're going to need every one of the backs, so Taiwan absolutely could be a big help. And and, um, and it is good seeing him. He feels healthier, obviously, and um, that part's been good. But we're going to need every one of the – everyone on this team we're going to need. What was the big role you want to see with, with your special teams this year, especially in camp, across the board? Yeah, across the board, uh, you know, I, there's a few spots. You know, Jazz certainly you know, did some punt returning, but do we have another guy? You know, it, it's punt team. We've got a, a number of guys that have, you know, T.J. Edwards and um, Sitch of, and Dakota, our left side's been, you know, there'll be three-year starters on it. You know, we're a new snapper, you, you know. So you've got a little bit of guys keep progressing keep developing, keep growing, and, and then we've got some other guys, we got to kind of put them in the fire a little bit so that they're ready um, and find out if they're ready for game time. Use the punters a little bit, interchange, or not interchangeably last year, but for different yeah. types of kicks. Is that an ideal situation, or would you rather one of these guys jump down? I'd prefer the latter. <laughs> you know, if, if, uh, if you can jump in. Part of that, I think, last year was PJ was doing some – things that were good and I thought he was tremendous last year in the kickoffs and Anthony as a freshman. I think PJ gave us the flexibility to not necessarily put the freshman in right away and yeah, Anthony's got to grow and so it's uh, if we can get one really good one you'd like to go with him the whole time and then have games where you're not punting much. Is there an emphasis to get more out of the punt return game this year? Yeah I think you try to get more out of everything we're coaches, right? Um, but your return games, absolutely. How can we find a way to get more? Um, you know, the last kickoff return for touchdown was trail against Maryland, I think. Um, you know, how can we do a better job on our coverage units? Every one of those you, you got to look at. So certainly, punt return you want. Paul, Phil Quill was out in Chicago with somebody a couple of the rule tweets. Mm -hmm. Obviously, one, if coaches come or someone comes off the sideline, it's 15. I don't know if you think that's going to affect you at all since you're so demonstrative on the sideline. <laughs> but but the other one is the horse collar. That right. You're up. Have you talked to your kids about the it's really tough now to try to get a guy from behind to go up high? 
We haven't yet. Okay. You know, we'll kind of hit that as we get into the tackling part of it. And you know, sometimes I think if you just we've talked about the rules in our meetings, but yeah. you're just you're covering it then. Um, and I think it will be. It'll be interesting, and and you try to make sure they're aware of the rules, and then. I think even with penalties, you, you put them into two categories, controllables and, and those ones that um, kind of are those judgment that you don't have as much control about. So, you know, we'll spend a lot of time talking with them. Haven't addressed it with the group yet uh, about that, though. The sideline level coaches, that, that's not, is that going to affect you at all? I mean, it, Hope not. Was there even a, a case since you've been head coach where you've been close to something like that happening, Getting, going on the field? I, I remember being on the field during the, but there were reviews. Like, okay. there was a game that we played a couple of years ago where it was kind of snowing, and yeah, we had a <laughs> play that looked a lot like something. <laughs> I remember being out on that one. <laughs> but you got to keep your poise, right? And you got to, they don't want you on the field challenging a call. Okay. And I think that's what they're trying to make sure. And it's a good rule. All right, thanks. <laughs> on that note. <laughs>